Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how I draw a realistic eye in Procreate. I'm honestly not the greatest artist out there to show you this, but I thought it would be nice to show how I currently draw an eye. First, I always start out by putting the grid feature on, even if my reference photo does not have a grid. This just helps me visually be able to keep the exact horizontal and vertical planes in mind when I'm drawing, so placing things on the canvas are so much easier. I also always start out with the rough shapes and I draw a bunch of lines around the canvas because this also helps me place where things are so supposed to be. Eyes have always been a bit of an iffy place for me when drawing. I really, really enjoy drawing them, but they, they're a bit more technical and they have a lot of weird little spots like the waterline and, and the tear duct. I've always found the, the correct colouring and the correct placement of those to be a bit difficult for me. Um, I've really been trying to practice this over the past few years and especially since coming into digital art when I can actually pick really specific colours a lot easier. I always choose Pinterest when I'm looking for just a quick study of an eye or a lips or nose or anything like that because I think it's really easy to find really great pictures. I just type something like eye reference aesthetic or something. I, if you just type eye reference it comes up with really basic eyes and I kind of like things that have a little bit of makeup on, not too much. Some Sometimes I will go and I'll do a really elaborate makeup look or something but today I just felt like doing something quite simple but I didn't just want a basic eye with no makeup on because I think it just makes it a little bit more interesting to add some makeup. Also this reference does not have eyeliner on but for me personally I always just enjoy putting eyeliner on eyes. If you notice I put it on every single artwork or portrait that I do. I don't really know why, I just really enjoy it. I think it's just, it elongates the eyes, it gives a nice base for eyelashes as well. I always have trouble if I don't put eyeliner making the eyelashes look normal. So if you have that base of black there with the eyeliner, eyelashes become simpler to merge and make more realistic in the portrait. I mean, this is something I could probably perfect over time. It'll probably get easier to make eyelashes look more realistic, but at the moment, this is just the technique that I find best. At this point, I'll start using a soft brush to put in some darker tones. I know a lot of people do dark first and light at the end, but personally, I think it it's a lot easier to start out with light and add darkness in and then add some highlighting at the end. I usually, I, if you can't see there in my color palettes, I have developed a few little sets. I have a specific one set up at the moment because it's the one I've been using the most. And it has about eight, eight colors go together to create one skin palette. And I'll, I'll usually just stick to eight of those. And you can see I'm just using the first eight at, for this particular image and I just go through I add the next shade up then I'll blend it together then I add the next shade up and blend it together until it kind of has an idea of what I want at the end this is when I start kind of trying to find the correct kind of eyeshadow shade I really could not find it today I was having a lot of difficulty trying to find the eyeshadow shape but that doesn't that doesn't really matter I really like this color but with the eyeshadow I do the same kind of thing that I do with the skin tone and I I start off with some light colors and then I go in with the dark colors maybe every now and then I'll go in with a, a different shade I'll lower the opacity really low and then I'll I'll, I'll wash it over the top if, if it hasn't been the colour that I want it to be because adding a light wash of colour over the top will slightly change all the tones. Here I'm starting on the eyeball and one of the biggest tips I have for drawing the whites of the eyes is they're not actually 
especially white. I usually start off with either a really, really light blue or today I used a bit of a yellow. I was trying something new and I really like it. And then around the edges, I added a gray blue color to add in the depth. And it really, I really liked how it turned out. And I think I'm gonna start using this in the future. are probably the most difficult part I have a lot of trouble with this and you can see I tried to do a few different things like I'd started off just adding in some squiggly lines and then trying to blend them a little bit and then adding some more lines over top and honestly this didn't really work for me you can see I kind of just blended them away a little bit and then I decided to start in the middle of the iris because if you look closely the iris of the reference photo they have quite a yellowy goldy tinge around the pupil and I just I love this I personally think this is so pretty and I went in and I found a trick that I actually kind of liked and I decided to continue going with it and I put down the color blended it out a little bit and then I made my blending brush really small and then I kind of just waved it back and forth and then I I changed the the, the brush for the blending tool to the acrylic painting tool this is how I draw here but I thought it would have a similar effect to an iris and I actually really enjoyed this and so I started doing this for the green of the eye not many artists show this but I decided to put in that I restarted the eye pretty much I went through I started to add in back the darkness and then I added a layer of medium color then then a very very light color and then I added in that orange back and then I started to do that blending with the acrylic painting tool and then I went in and I added some colors back in and blended a little bit more until I was happy with what I had achieved at this point I started adding in some little details by putting some darker like V shapes and blending those out a little bit and then I went in with a really light colour just to add a few little highlights. Now I'm starting to put in the highlights on the iris. This is actually one of my favourite parts in both highlighting the face and highlighting the eyes and the lips. It's my favourite. It's so pretty when you've finished with it. I start out by lowering the opacity really low and then using a little bit of a larger brush and sweeping it over and the higher you press the more opacity you will get and so I'll kind of press light and hard and kind of change it up a little bit and then lower the brush size and bring the opacity up a bit and kind of do the same thing and so it looks like it's like shadowy and weird. And then I'll go over to the side and I just add a slight highlight just to make it look a bit more rounded. Now I'm starting to add in the eyeliner and this is another one of my favourite parts because as you heard in my last video I kind of like to paint as if I'm painting a face. And I personally don't really wear makeup but when I used to I really loved doing eyeliner. So when I paint a portrait the eyeliner is also one of my favorite parts because it reminds me of that time when I used to wear eyeliner almost every single day and it's a lot easier on a painting as well it's a lot less frustrating because you you can screw up as much as you want and it just works here I decide I don't think that the color is quite pink enough and I start blending that and I accidentally started I got a bit too excited and I started doing the eyelashes so once I blended in that that purple pink I started going in with the eyelashes and I might do a dedicated video on this but to put it simply I use the blending brush and I kind of stroke it through and up and away from the eyeliner and it kind of makes these really simple eyelashes sometimes if I want really really dramatic eyelashes I'll go through with um, these presets I bought I'll link them to, down below and, and they are perfect as I, I really cannot do dramatic eyelashes 
in paintings but if you just want some simple natural lashes this is what I do and then I just go back through over and I I use a regular paintbrush with some some black color and I'll I'll do some extra strokes to make it look a little bit more long and, and wispy. For studies, I really like to just make the, the outline white. I don't like it to be a whole square because then it just feels like the rest of the face is missing to me. So I like to put some white around it and blend the skin color with the white just to make it look a bit more put together. And at the end, I'll go through and I'll just quickly erase any of the lines that I don't want. From the sketch usually I'll keep maybe the 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 lines that indicate the under eye bags and the hollows of the eye on the top and that's it because I need a little bit more definition there thank you for watching today's video if you liked it give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this I hope you have a wonderful day